I'm in uh, Central Rama 9's basement here, and we're trying out a place called Wagyu. It's a beef place, really. It's got the menu here. So we got some appetizers. I did not bring my video camera today, so the audio is going to be very bad. Boat noodles, beef boat noodles, pork boat noodles, and you can get extra toppings here. Air fried, oh, like pack a pow. I'm gonna probably try one of those. But let me just flip through this menu for you guys. They have hot pot here as well. And more beef, a bunch of drinks, and some desserts. So I'm gonna try this one out here. And then apparently you have to scan the QR code to order. I guess that makes it, you can take your time and all that stuff, so. All right, this is the beef thing that showed up here. The utensils come in these bags. And over here we have a pork noodle soup. Pretty fancy glassware. These are like some weird gold-plated utensils. Let me lose the mask. All right, let's try this stuff straight up. So this is beef pakapo. It tastes like it should. It tastes like Pacapau, but with beef. And this is some sort of Wagyu here. I'm going to have to just try this one straight up, too. Oh, look at that. That looks good. It's not overcooked. Mmm. Very soft. Mmm. Wow, that beef is delicious. It's very, very tender. You know, it's thinly sliced, so that helps. Then over here we have a duck egg. So a duck egg is bigger than a chicken egg, obviously. But they taste very similar. You can see the uh, yolk is yolk is a bit runny here. A little bit of rice. Mm. Yeah, it's very creamy. And so now we have some fish sauce, I believe. Yeah, fish sauce with chilies in it. That's traditional to put on top of this. And then you gotta mix in some of this. So that's how you eat pakapau. Although the beef is definitely tastier, I think, than like pork or chicken. This is so flavorful, if you want to save money, just get the pork or chicken. You know, it tastes like 95% it's just as good. Alright, so now we got some noodles here. We got some thin sen neck, which is thin, small noodles. Broth here. Look how thick this broth is. The broth is a little bit sweet, actually. There's not much of a smoky flavor that I can taste. This is some, uh, beef bed. Oh, this is pork, actually. Looks like duck, but it's pork. Well, that was good, but I I still think that was duck. <laughs> then here we have a thin slice of pork. Mm. So that pork is very tender and soft also, partially because it's thinly sliced. There's also entrails here, like a, maybe kidney or liver, and then you have pork, pork balls. Yeah, so you got a good mix of stuff and some large pack bone here. So 
So that's a, that's a good dish too. But uh, this is, a, I like this more. So. My initial impressions are it's pretty darn good. So we'll have to see what the bill ends up being. So here's the total thing on our tab. We had five items, the two dishes up there, and then a uh, drink, a drink, and then there's some tax and service, 10% and 7% there. So a total of dinner was 452 baht. It was really good though. Well, honestly, the noodles didn't really impress me too much, but uh, that those thin slices of beef were fantastic. So there's the name of it in Thai and English, Wagyu. Alright, well thanks for watching today.